<laughs> here we are, uh, making um, butterscotch apple crisp. Uh, it's a recipe I've had for years and years, and I'm excited to share it with y'all. And it literally takes two minutes to cook in the Instapot, and it's uh, ready shortly. Anyways, so I just wanted to show you how it's done. It takes longer to uh, measure the parts than it does to cook. So here we go. So don't want to make you dizzy, but this way you can see what we're doing here. Okay. So um, in the Instapot, we're going to, uh, I cut up frozen apples and keep a frozen cut up, but you can, you can uh, buy them frozen cut up or you can um, use like three cans of that apple pie filling. Anyway, throw it in the Instapot. And I add, uh, and the recipe will be uh, in this uh, link. So it's um, four cups of apples cut up. It's, uh, let's see, uh, half a cup firmly packed brown sugar and a tablespoon of flour and a fourth a cup of milk. Anyways, being these are frozen, I'm just pouring this over the top and it'll incorporate uh, as it cooks for the whole two minutes. Uh, then we're going to add uh, the topping. It's a butterscotch topping, which really is special. And what makes it be that way is this uh, butterscotch filling um, pudding, pudding that you, it's not instant, but when you assemble everything, it just goes together and makes a great topping. So uh, how that begins is we have the, uh, I'm actually making this healthy. So this is uh, almond flour. And then there's uh, uh, mung fruit sweetener, which you can nor use normal sugar, but I'm just making it healthy. Uh, and then um, cinnamon and salt. Uh, then we have, let's see, this is the uh, packet of the cook and serve butterscotch. It's like a pudding. Anyways, that goes in there. Uh, and then uh, the pecans. And with that, you uh, stir in uh, one stick of melted butter, which I went ahead and, and melted. And this all gets stirred up. So I'm going to stir it up first. Then I will uh, add the melted butter to it and stir it some more. And that's what makes the um, really delicious topping. So I'm going to stir that up. And then I will spoonful that over the apples that are in the Instapot. And it's that simple. It's really just an assembly. And uh, I just love it. I've <laughs> made it for years in a conventional oven. But the Instapot it, it's like two minutes. So can't beat that as opposed to 35 minutes, uh, 350 in um, uh, eight inch square pan in the oven. That's the other way to cook it. Anyway, so then I'm going to spoon over the top um, this topping. And this what gives it kind of the uh, old French apple crisp topping, but it's actually got butterscotch throughout it. But it's really good. And then I just uh, screw on the, the Instapot lid. It matches up right there and turn it. And then at the top here, I put it on the seal. There's seal and venting. Put it on the seal. Then I put manual. And then I arrow down to the minutes that I want, which on this thing, I just want two minutes. And then it'll come up to, to a pressure and start cooking for two minutes. And then I'm going to do what's called an instant release. See, it's already going to start uh, heating up for pressure. So um, that'll cook for two minutes. When it's done, I'm going to do a quick release, which is I push the little button here, and that will let all the steam out. And then when it's done doing that, then I can take the lid off, and it's ready. So it doesn't get any faster than that. And um, I think you'll love it like I have. I have done it for probably 20 years now. So it's a great recipe, and I'll share it with you. 
so i hope you enjoy thank you